Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So the items that I have here in front of me, I have filmed mm, two, three times now, <laughs> but I'm going to give it another try. Uh, it seems like there's been something that's been wrong every time I've done it. So everything is all unpackaged and kind of a mess because I've already shown it several times. But we're going to still go ahead with it. First of all, this is a beautiful journal from Christy Biddleston, who is Meta Studio on um, YouTube and um, Etsy. And I purchased this through a live sale or auction um, that Care Heart does. And Care Heart has a foundation that is called the Disabled Artist Foundation. And she raises money for uh, disabled artists to be able to have art supplies. So people donate things to her auctions. And then, you know, she has them, I don't know if it's once a month or twice a month, but I will link her information below so that you guys can go to her channel and check it out. She also has uh, this card with her information and there's a website on the back. But like I said, I will put all of her information below. I focused for a minute. There we go. And um, so you can go ahead and subscribe to her and click the link so that you know when she has her sales because um, there's always a lot of really cool things. And um, it's just a good way to get your supplies and still also support a good cause at the same time. I did get a bunch of digitals from that sale as well, but I have not printed them out yet. So um, I don't have them to show you. But when I do, I will definitely show you guys what I got. But um, these are some freebies that she sent along with um, Christie's journal. This is what she wrote her note on the back of. There's a guest check. And then this cute postcard. Isn't that cute? And then this is the beautiful boho-ish journal that um, Christy made. Isn't that pretty? She's got a little pocket on the front with this um, card in here. It's like a I was trying to see if it said what kind of a card it was. It says uh, Modest Maneuver 1968. Uh, it could be an illustration in any major magazine for the 1950s, it says. So then um, she's got this really cool tassel trim. She's got the metal book corners. Um, it's done in, I think it's called the Midori style. I could be wrong, but it's also like Traveler's Notebooks where they have the elastic closure and then they've got the elastic inside, which is really cool because, you know, if you need to, you can take this out or if you want to add more things to it, you can add more things. So I think it just makes it more versatile. But very sturdy, very, um, I don't know what she does to make these feel like this, but they're, um, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know if it's just got Mod Podge on it or if she's done something else, but it's almost got like a, oh, like a, I, I don't want to say plastic, but it's, but it does have like that hard, hardened feel to it. And she's got it all stitched. There's a little pocket. Oh, right here. Sorry, I was going the wrong way with it. And then this really cool venom paper. It's got really cool papers in it. I just, I love it. I love all the different um, textures and uh, the different uh, dyes. Different weights of paper. It's hard to go and describe something again when you've already done it like three times, but... I will still try to do it justice because it is just beautiful. There's a couple um, stamps that she's put on the thread on the inside. And here's your elastic that is holding the whole thing in. And then, of course, you're just going to have the flip side of all the papers that I just showed you. 
and then at the end there's another pocket and then she also has this piece that has um has a big pocket here and it has a little tuck kind of pocket there and you flip it open and there's two little tuck pockets here it's got a bookmark and a seed pack and again very sturdy and then another little kind of tuck pocket here with a bigger pocket here oh I think this was another part of cares thank you that she sent and then there's the back side of it beautiful fabric too I just I love this so much I was so glad I was able to get it okay so that is everything from care hearts auction like I said I also purchased some digitals as well I'm going to put all these back in the bag so I don't lose them. And Christy's journals, she always sends one of these really cool bags with them as well. Okay, and then the next thing I have is a um, Peter Rabbit inspired kit from Marlu, who is Gracie's Place. And she is on YouTube and Folksy. And again, I will link all of her information below as well. And it all came beautifully wrapped in this tissue paper. Everything was in a big bag. Um, this big bag here that says Peter Rabbit Inspiration Kit. So the whole thing was packaged in that. And then everything came in its own package. But like I have stuff out now because, you know, like I said, I already showed it. Look at this cute bag. Is that not adorable? got Peter Rabbit on both sides. No butterflies and bees. And then inside she's got ephemera. And Gracie, I know you, Gracie, I always want to call her Gracie. It's not Gracie, it's Marlu. Marlu, if you watch this, which I know you usually do, um, can you let me know, is it okay for me to scan these and print more? I just want to make sure I don't do something I'm not supposed to, but I would love to be able to scan these to have them have more to use. But if not, I understand. I just would like to know. So there's this one, and they're just blank on the back. And what I love about this kit is that it has a lot of the characters from the Beatrix Potter books. And I have several sets of her series to make journals out of and to use like the book pages and stuff. So it's nice to have these um, items in this kit that also um, will go with all the books. I've been watching Gail Augustinelli working on her bunny journals. And um, of course you guys know I love bunnies too. And uh, she's really making me want to start doing Easter journals and, you know, get my own bunnies out. But I still have a Christmas <laughs> journal to finish that someone has asked me to make. And um, I have that other secret journal that I'm supposed to be working on that I haven't started. But that the person doesn't know I'm making it. So I can do that anytime. But I would like to get it done. And there's these like bookmark size. Aren't those cute? And those are just blank on the back, too. And then there's a couple of um, Rolodex cards. And some postcards. So cute. I love these postcards. And those also are blank on the back. So today is Tuesday. And I... I'm not going out to my mom's today. Um, she has something planned that she's doing that um, I hope she just has a blast with. Um, and I, I'm just not saying what it is just for her uh, privacy because she's not. My parents were always very private and I was always careful about what I mentioned on my channel or Facebook. So, um, you know, my mom continues to be that way so I try not to share too much um, of her personal life <laughs> on my channel 
But anyway, because she is otherwise occupied today, um, I don't need to go out there to her house. So um, I have a meeting with my butterfly girls at three, which most of you probably know that's a ministry that I'm in. And it is beautiful lace, by the way. And uh, this morning I had to take my daughter to a, a neurology appointment because the preventative, we got this cute pom-pom trim. The preventative medicine that we've been gradually increasing because she's still having migraines um, is not working. So she had to go for an unexpected blood draw, which did, oh, this was in Care Hearts, um, which she hates them to begin with. They're very traumatic for her because they have a hard time um, getting her veins. She gets that from me. They also have a hard time getting mine. Um, and so, you know, a lot of times they will keep trying to poke her while the needle's in. And if you guys have had that done, that hurts a lot. And this time was no different. And they were in her hand doing it, which is more tender to begin with. Just as I was about to tell the lady to stop, another lady came over and, um, tried again to find a vein in her arm, you know, like in the crease of her arm where they normally do it. And she was able to find a vein and she got it in right away and, and got it no problem. So thank, thankful for that. But she's also going to have to have another MRI done. She had one done when she was much younger, when she first started getting the migraines. But because she's not responding um, to the preventative medication and her migraines are getting worse and more often, um, they just want to double check some things and make sure there's nothing else going on. So um, once they get that MRI approved, she'll be going for that too. So, and then she did prescribe a new preventative. They're taking her back down on her other one that she's been on because um, you have to wean off of it. And then they started her on a very low dose of a new preventative. They were kind of worried about putting her on this one because it can affect asthma. It's not, um, it doesn't affect everyone that way. And it's probably not going to affect her asthma. But because she has asthma, they weren't going to put her on that preventative. Excuse me, I need a drink. But since the other one didn't work, now they're going to try this one. So... She'll be starting that tonight. Anyway, look at this beautiful fabric. Is that not cool? I love this. And again, it has a lot of the characters in it. And she gives you a good piece of it too. I think it's a fat quarter maybe. Um, and then we have these little pieces. So anyway, we were out at 8 o'clock this morning to get that done. And we actually got there before... Uh, the neurologist even got there because we got a snowstorm last night and um, school was canceled all around us. And um, But we live like five minutes from the office that we had to go to. And um, fortunately, the temperature had come up. It was like 35 degrees when we went. So, of course, that's above freezing. And the plows had been out and stuff. So, you know, we didn't have any troubles, thankfully with the roads or anything but then after she got done with the horrendous blood draw I took her and got her a hot chocolate and cookies and so that made her made her happy but I just I wanted to get it done right away before she had too much time to think about it and really get her anxiety going and she hadn't eaten breakfast so it had to be a fasting blood draw so I figure you know what she's ready to go she won't have too much time to think about it. Let's just get it done and out of the way. So that's what we did. Aren't these cute? I love the way she crochets around these. And then this one has like a little clear uh, acrylic or I don't know what you call it. But a little covering over it. So got those. And I don't remember how much this kit was. Most of um, the kits, I mean, you guys know I've purchased several kits from Marlou. And, um, it's kind of like, I can't craft. So what do I do? I buy stuff. <laughs> um, anyway, um, her kits are usually in American dollars. They're usually just maybe a little bit over 20. So, um, not bad at all. So we got this little, uh, bag with a tag in it. 
Isn't that cute? I spent most of uh, Saturday, I think it was, with that little paper clip, in Erin Klossner's sale. So I'll be having a bunch of stuff coming from her. Let's tag. And of course, you know, I've been posting my crazy auction layout. Blah, blah, blah. crazy auction lady goodies i still have one more to film yet i got some really cool bottles and decanters that i want to show you guys okay so that is everything that came in the peter rabbit inspired kit from marlu who again is gracie's place okay and then the next thing that I have to share is a shop share on Etsy. And um, she is also on YouTube. And that is uh, Wonderbar Crafts, who is Denise. Here's her card. And again, I will also link her below. And I have um, shown uh, Denise's stuff before as well because I love the way she does her dyeing. And you guys know how much I love kits. And this was her Valentine kit. And I think there's still time. She is doing a giveaway on her channel. And she's giving one of these kits away. That's why I'm showing it. A lot of times I won't show stuff if it's something you can't get anymore. But because she's doing the giveaway, I wanted you guys to um, see what it looked like. And be able to get over there and get in on that. So these are some thank you gifts she sent. Got a cute little cluster on there. And then she sends some washi. Maybe you can see it a little bit better there. Okay, so this is all part of the Valentine's kit. It's all um, like avocado dyed papers. And then she also sends some... Um, fabric and trims and things so we've got this one here and this one and of course valentine's is over but i didn't get it for valentine's anyway i just got it because i like the kit and i like i said i like the way she dyes things i have bought um i think i bought a rainbow pack from her before where it had a variety of pastel colors. I can't remember if I bought coffee dyed from her before or not. I might have. You know, I still have avocados in my freezer hoping to do my own avocado dyeing, but it hasn't happened yet. So it's nice that there's people that I can buy it from so I don't have to do it. Here's another um, like sorry silk. I don't know if it's sorry silk, but it's it reminds me of that, the way it's torn and on the card. I hear my daughter moving around upstairs. Fortunately, she didn't have school today. Not that she was going anyway, because she's on, what, like day eight or nine of a migraine. And that's new, too. She doesn't normally have them that long. So I'm a little concerned about that. So we got these um, cameo trim, some ruffled pink lace, or fabric. And then this trim here with these metal uh, pieces on there. And there's this piece of fabric. There was another piece of fabric. Did I lose that? I'm not sure where that went. Like I said, I've showed it a few times, so God only knows where it went. But there was another small piece of fabric like that, kind of like a silky piece. So I'm kind of excited to meet with the girls. You know, I haven't seen them in quite a while. One thing after another going on. And um, one of my ministry partners, Tania, she took the, you might, you guys remember the journals that I made for the, um, women at the shelter. It's a domestic violence shelter. It's like ladies that have escaped from that. 
Um, anyway, I had made a bunch of journals for them back around like Thanksgiving time. Well, she finally um, got them over to them. So they do have them. Here's some little uh, like mini composition notebook pages and uh, index cards. So I haven't really heard, um, you know, what they had to say. And, and I'm pretty sure they didn't go to the ladies when she dropped them off. She probably dropped them off to whoever was working. But the director, um, she liked them. So I just hope it blesses the ladies and that they enjoy having them. So we have some guest checks. Some CD envelopes. She usually gives a, like uh, five of each, except for these big envelopes. I think there's three of these. And I don't know if you guys remember or not, but I had made a design team project for My World in OKC using one of these envelopes and then the items that she had sent me to decorate them. So these are really nice to, to use for a lot of different things. So then um, everything... Like every different kind of paper, she's got it in a little, um, like a doily. So you get the doilies along with the different papers. And these are really cool because they're graph paper on one side and they're lined notebook paper on the other. And then there's this paper. Oops, sorry, you guys, my thumb is not working well today. That thing is still bothering me. Seems to never end. And then here's some smaller notebook paper. So yesterday I did go out to my mom's. And I took her to get her hair done. Which was nice. Um, this is some fiber that was wrapped around the whole pack. Uh, Denise Avocado dyes this as well. And it's really soft. We have some regular envelopes. But it was nice to see her um, getting her hair done and being pampered a little bit. You know, she's been through a tough time. And um, I love this envelope. And then we stopped at the store for a couple things. And... Uh, Got some lunch, and then um, when I took her back home, the snow had started. So um, I stayed for a little bit, but not too long, because by the time I got back to my town, it was really snowing hard. Um, but I made it before the roads got bad or anything, so that's good. And we got these coffee filters. And we got some different uh, music pages. These are vintage, you can tell. They're very, oops, sorry. They're very grungy, which I love. That goes nice. So yeah, it's still pretty busy. Um, still no time for crafting or, you know, hard to get time into even film but you know it'll it'll slow back down again uh this was around something else too and here's this paper but for now um my focus is on you know my mom and my kids and um you know I work when it's available you know when I'm needed but not a lot of time for myself right now but you know that's okay I want to keep my mom living where she's at, where she wants to be, and I will do whatever it takes to uh, make that happen for her and help her adjust to being by herself. Okay, so then we got this bigger paper, too, which is really nice. There's five sheets of that. Oops. And then this she used to stabilize the whole thing, but also, you know, some, I can take that, um, washi tape off and um, use this paper too along with this hard 
hard, well, it's not hard, but it's like a sturdy piece of cardstock. So, so that is everything that came in Denise's kit, which is amazing. I love it. She does such a beautiful job with her dyeing of paper. So that is everything that I have. I will have one more video to do, like I said, of those old bottles that I got. And then, um, you know, I have some other things coming in. But uh, hopefully I'll be able to get back to some crafting. I actually packed a bag um, of some things to make like um, clusters or um, collages or whatever. But I haven't even had time to take that stuff out when I'm at my mom's because I'm usually busy um, either running the roads with her or for her. So, or doing chores and, and whatnot. So, um, but I keep it packed so that, and I take it with me every time. So if there's a time that I'm just out there, you know, just spending time with her, then I can go ahead and at least try to get some sort of crafting done because that is how I de-stress. And if I don't get to do any crafting I'm not de-stressing <laughs> so and we know that we need to have that time so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all this stuff um I will link all of the channels and shops below so that you guys can check them out and maybe maybe there'll be something that you'd like to pick up from them and and use in your crafting so thanks for watching have a great day and I will see you all next time bye, -bye.